know that there are an estimated 300,000 sport-related traumatic brain injuries each year. Even more amazing, experts say that 50% of all concussions go undiagnosed. Some people say that concussions aren't that bad, so this is no big deal. In some cases, <coughs> this is true. However, this can also be a deadly misconception because 50% of all second impact syndrome incidents result in death. Protecting your head is important. In this TED talk, I'm going to break down what is a concussion, how to keep yourself safe, and the signs and symptoms of concussions. A concussion is a type of Concussion is a type of traumatic brain injury caused from a blow to the head or body that causes the head and brain to move rapidly back and forth. Concussions have effects such as impaired thinking, memory, along with emotional and personality changes. Serious concussions are one of the main causes of brain damage, disabilities, and death. Serious traumatic brain injuries are responsible for 30% of all injury-related deaths. But it's not just professional athletes um, affected by concussions. It is thousands of kids around the world every year. <coughs> what are the signs and symptoms of concussions? There are multiple signs and symptoms of concussions and it is important to know in case of emergency. A few examples are fatigue, vomiting, memory loss, and confusion. If you see any, any of these effects, after a hit to the body or head, it is important to report it immediately. What are some misconceptions about concussions? I don't play sports, so I don't need to worry about concussions. Concussions don't just happen playing sports. In fact, the number one cause of concussions is biking. Helmets prevent concussions. Helmets are designed to prevent skull fracture, but they do help lower risk. I didn't get hit in the head, so my injury can't be a concussion. Hits to the body can also cause concussions. Boys get more concussions than girls because they play more contact sports. Experts agree girls are at a higher risk due to the sports they play and weaker neck muscles. I didn't black out, so it must not be a concussion. You don't have to lose consciousness to suffer from a concussion. How to protect yourself and others. There is no surefire way to prevent a concussion other than locking yourself in your room and having no life. If you want to have a life but also want to be safe, it is important to follow these few tips. One is to use proper technique in sports. In football, don't hit others in the head or hit with your head. It can cause injury and it can also give your team a penalty. In hockey, don't do illegal hits. This can start fights and also is a penalty for your team. In baseball, don't throw a ball at someone's head because it can give them an injury and it is a walk. The second tip is to use proper equipment. If your equipment is old, damaged, or too big or too small, it may not help you enough. So, in the past, people thought that ha having a head injury was no big deal. Getting your bell rung every once in a while was something that just happened. Now we know that concussions are a big deal and the signs aren't just in your head. Be a kid, have fun, but also be safe because if you don't know the signs and symptoms of concussions, you run the risk of serious injury. Thank you. Yes.